It's always had a slightly geeky element. It just wasn't fashionable back in the day, but it's very fashionable to be geeky now, isn't it? And I think Doctor has almost single-handedly made that the case. Yeah, of course I'm a fan. Who's not a Doctor Who fan? If there's not, if you're not a Doctor Who fan, where's my baseball bat? I'm much more of a fan of Doctor Who now than I ever was back in the day. But now I sit down with my family and I watch it and it's a real, it's a family date, The Curse of Fenric. I thought Ace got a fantastic amount of stuff to do in that. Very emotional acting, with, which all actors love, a bit of drama and a bit of upset and a bit of shouting and a bit of sadness. The only thing I um, miss is the cliffhanger. Oh, Doctor, what are you going to do? Be careful! Oh, Doctor! You know, Doctor! You know, I miss, I miss all that. Some of the episodes I was in, I found quite confusing. And I remember BBC Three asking me behind the scenes, who do you think River Song is? And no idea, I just made it up. There doesn't seem to be too much of a dichotomy in between the old series fans and the new series fans. I mean, there aren't sort of like rumbles in between the sort of like two disparate sort of, <laughs> disparate groups of fandom, sonic screwdrivers at dawn or anything like that. And this is a thing that quite annoys me in WH Smiths. They always have Doctor Who magazine in the men's interest section, next to the motoring mags and the lad mags and that sort of thing. And when you go to a actual convention, it's how many sort of young women and so like adolescent girls are there as well. The makeup has, has really changed, uh, funnily enough, particularly since David Tennant arrived. Now I don't see how that could possibly be that, yeah, ugly bloke really in real life. If you work with him, you know, God dear, I don't know what anyone sees in him. She lied. I think the new Doctor Who's were sort of a bit younger and sexy. <laughs> I mean, as much as I loved Tom Baker, I, he was never a sex symbol to me. Whenever they got a bit too screamy and wet was when I would be like, eh, click, what else is on? Oh my God, in the middle of this packed bar, I, went, I just heard today I got a job in Doctor Who. <laughs> Bleh. But I can be so uncool. You're like that. <gasps> oh my God, you were like, but you need. You, you, Doctor Who, and I went, yes, you were Leela, you were my favourite companion. We had a little mutual Doctor Who moment. I think she's amazing. She was always ready to go, trouble, chibble. I was walking along the Brecon Beacon and somebody did a double take and came back and went, didn't you used to be, and he couldn't think of the word Leela. He's going, didn't you used to be sexy? <laughs> and now people, people used to go, oh, I really fancy you. And then it was my dad really fancied you. And now they're going, oh, my granddad used to really fancy you. I'm just waiting for great granddad now. I remember signing someone's thigh and they went off and got it tattooed. So somewhere in America, there's someone with my name tattooed across his leg. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Recently, I've seen quite a few people dressed as uh, the Sixth Doctor, dressed as Colin Baker, and when you see that costume, so like live in the flesh, you think, "Good God, that was that was a bold choice." <laughs> yeah, no, I, I really like it now, especially the ones I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> They're the best ever. <laughs>